Well, he has usually functioned more as a power broker than a diplomat, but Rahm Emanuel may soon be working on a new skill set, and some on the political left are upset. As our Mike Flannery explains, President Biden is reportedly about to nominate him as U.S. Ambassador to Japan. Some activists here in Chicago still resent Rahm Emanuel's handling of the Laquan McDonald case, but many on the Democratic Party's left wing nationally most resent him for pushing international trade agreements, including NAFTA. Rahm Emanuel is wrong, right? Rahm Emanuel is flatly wrong and dishonest if he thinks that, or if he says that NAFTA benefited the overwhelming majority of America because it didn't. The former mayor has often argued that NAFTA and other world trade deals have been a net net plus for workers in Chicago and Illinois, while conceding there certainly were losers whose jobs ended up overseas. Speaking for them, a Nation magazine headline, Ambassador Rahm Emanuel, no, no, a thousand times no. But local allies of the former mayor predict he'll do well running the giant American embassy in Tokyo. It's an important posting that could enable him to influence U.S. policy around the Pacific and across East Asia. We know that, uh, you know, the U.S. does not, um, you know, export a lot to Japan. And I think we can, you know, kind of help that. Uh, we import quite a bit. Um, but we don't export as much as I think we should, and I think he will be someone who can help leverage that. The former mayor initially had his eye on becoming U.S. Secretary of Transportation, a job that could have allowed him to help steer billions of dollars here to the Chicago area for trains, roads, bridges, and waterways like the Chicago River. That job, of course, went to former South Bend, Indiana Mayor Pete Buttigieg. I'm political editor Mike Flannery.